Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In today's video, we are going to take up another very very interesting and challenging question from algebra. We have one quartic equation x power 4 plus ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d equal to 0, whose roots are complex. Given that product of two roots equal to complex number 13 plus i and sum of remaining two roots. This is again one complex number 3 plus 4i. Then we have to find value of b and b is coefficient of x square. So let's get started by writing four roots of the quartic equation. We know that roots follows conjugation property. If I will consider first root as r1, then I need to consider the complex conjugate as its second root. If you will consider third root is r2, then fourth root must be equal to r2 bar. So if I will write here r1, r1 bar, r2, r2 bar. Now product of two roots, it is equal to complex number 13 plus i. If we will multiply r1 with r2, we are going to get real number. If we will multiply r2 with its conjugate r2 bar, we are going to get real number. So I can write here 13 plus i product of two roots and roots we will consider r1, r2. So the remaining roots are r1 bar and r2 bar. So I can write two equations from here r1, r2 equal to 13 plus i. Second equation r1 bar plus r2 bar equal to 3 plus 4i. Now we can use Vita's method to write b in terms of r1, r1 bar, r2, r2 bar. So let me write here our equation first. So I will write x power 4 plus ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d equal to 0. And roots if I will write then we have to write r1, r1 bar, r2, r2 bar. Now using Vita's method we know that b will be equal to sum of roots taken two at a time. So we have to consider all the combo of roots r1 r1 bar plus r1 r2 plus r1 r2 bar r1 is over first root is over r1 bar times r2 plus r1 bar times r2 bar and last term i will write r2 r2 bar. Now we will consider these two terms and we can take r1 common. We will consider these two terms and we will take r2 common. From first combination we will take r1 common. From last two, these two, we will take r2 common. And remaining two terms we will write as it is. Let us write first b equal to r1 r1 bar plus r1 r2 bar okay plus r1 bar r2 plus r2 r2 bar now two terms are there r1 r2 plus r1 bar r2 bar now we are going to take r1 common from these two r2 common from these two so we will write r1 r1 bar plus r2 bar plus r2 r1 bar plus r2 bar plus r1 r2 plus r1 bar r2 bar. Now from first two terms we can take r1 bar plus r2 bar common out. So I can write r1 plus r2 times 
R1 bar plus R2 bar plus R1 R2 plus R1 bar R2 bar. This is nothing but our B. Let me write B here first. Now we will write our equation 1 and equation 2. Equation 1 was R1 times R2 equal to 13 plus i which we are going to write or put here and our second equation was R1 bar plus R2 bar. This was equal to 3 plus 4i which we are going to put over here. But the point is R1 plus R2 and R1 bar times R2 bar is not known. So we can use properties from complex number. If I will write here Z1 bar plus Z2 bar whole bar. This is equal to Z1 plus Z2. So I can use this property and second property which we will be using to find out Z1 plus Z2. This is for R1 plus R2. Now second property is Z1 bar times Z2 bar. This will be equal to Z1 Z2 whole bar. Let us use these two properties to find out R1 plus R2 and R1 bar times R2 bar. So I will write here R1 bar plus R2 bar. We can write this will be equal to R1 plus R2. And this is our equation number 2. So I can write R1 plus R2 will be equal to 3 plus 4i whole bar. So we have to write its complex conjugate value will be 3 minus 4i. Now we are going to calculate R1 bar times R2 bar. So I will write here. Let me write here. I will write R1 times R2 whole bar. This is equal to R1 bar times R2 bar. Now we know that R1 R2 is, let me write our equation number 1 which is equal to 13 plus i. So I can write here 13 plus i whole bar equal to R1 bar times R2 bar. So we have to write conjugate of 13 plus i. We will write R1 bar times R2 bar equal to 13 minus i. Now we have to plug in both the values in our B. So I will write R1 plus R2 times R1 bar plus R2 bar plus R1 R2 plus R1 bar R2 bar. So here we are going to write R1 plus R2 3 minus 4i R1 bar plus R2 bar our second equation 3 plus 4i R1 R2 our equation number 1 value is 13 plus i and R1 bar times R2 bar is here we have calculated 13 minus i plus i minus i will be over here we are going to apply difference of two squares formula we can write here 3 square minus 4i whole square will be equal to 3 square plus 4 square. So we can write here 25. And the remaining term is 13 plus 13, 26. So we will write B equal to 25 plus 26. So our final answer becomes B equal to 51. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.